Mike Camp here of Parents Who. I've never done a video quite like this before. I have about 20 boxes here and I need to start opening them because Christmas is only a few days away. That and the school gift exchange. The school book gift exchange is tomorrow and my children are, rightfully so, worried that they don't have their book wrapped yet and that maybe it's not even in one of these boxes, and it may well not be. Let's find out. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go. Take a look at the five and ten. It's glistening once again with candy canes and silver lanes that glow. It's beginning to look a lot like Spoiler Christmas. alert, if you are my family, don't watch this because you'll see what you're getting for Christmas. I'm going to try to link all these products, like talking with scissors, I'm going to try to link all these products in the companies below, but realistically I have to hurry and open them and I still have to go run Christmas errands and there's a good chance that all the links won't be there, but you can always email me info and ask me about any of these and I will be sure to email you back. Obviously, I believe in all these products or else I would not have bought them. Usually I shop around. I like to support small businesses. This year we got really far behind because we had two full anesthesia surgeries amongst new babies and sick grandparents and other things. So I gave myself permission to just order it basically all online, mostly from Amazon. These items can make great birthday gifts. Some of them um, maybe Valentine's gifts and Christmas gifts if you are still shopping. Today is December. 18th at the time of filming. All right, let's get started. Oh my gosh. I have no idea where to begin. I, I seriously have no idea what's in. I should also mention, it's kind of scary when I, this is hot in here. Hold on. Texas December air in here. Uh, where do you put my, I should also mention, this year I'm helping my sister and brother-in-law with their presents because they have a newborn and I don't want them to have to receive and open and wrap. They've had a lot of their stuff sent here, which is part of the reason why there's so many boxes. And literally, I don't even know if theirs have shown up yet. I think there's probably like <laughs> 10 more boxes on the way. So there may be a part two. All right, let's get to this. Ooh, all right, first box. I haven't used these like this in so long. Lego RV. Even though he's not a baby anymore. There was, that was all that was in that box. Well, that's full honesty. This box is already open. I have their art in our dining room, a big art piece from them that I bought. And I buy a lot of things from them, including their oh, our Christmas cards. They will print on your envelopes for you. I had to have some blank ones because I'm waiting on some addresses, but they'll print them on there for you for free, which is amazing. I never go to the post office for stamps. I always go to our store, um, one of our stores called Tom Thumb, it's a grocery store. If you just go up to customer service, I bought 100 stamps. It took me two minutes, there was not even anybody in line. Listen game. Ah. This book is amazing! It's called The Mighty Lalouche, which is very on topic, considering we went to France this year. The art in this is amazing. I'm going to read you just the intro. Many years ago in Paris, France, there lived a humble postman named... Oh, this is some of the art in the front. I've had this on the boys' wish list for a long time. I collect books and I just put them on Amazon whether I buy them from there or not just to remember what books I come across in my... Um, I love the art. I love that it's in Paris and this one's going to be for... Oh my gosh, I just love this. Again, that whole box for that one book. Can we use envelopes, Amazon? Is that possible? This is for baby A. So have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This is for the book exchange. Okay. Minted. Again, I told you I love minted. I already know what's in here, and I don't know how much of it I can show you. Let me tell you this, first of all. Minted is such a great company. They're one of those companies that they don't under promise and over deliver. They just promise and over deliver. So for example, with this offer, I put in my order of Christmas cards. Ooh. 
Minted is always running a good sale, always. So if you haven't subscribed to their email list, and I don't work for them, they don't pay me money for this, I would highly, highly re recommend, I would highly, highly recommend going to their website and putting in your email address if you like art, if you like cards, if you like paper. Their deal this year, and you didn't have to move fast to get on this, like I don't order Christmas cards until December. If you ordered your Christmas cards, how did this work? If you ordered your, <laughs> it's been so long. If you ordered your Christmas cards from them, you got like 40% off, 30% off. And you also got this amazing little calendar. And the calendar is like a stand-up calendar for your desk. It's got a card for each month and it's inspired by a piece in their store. And so it says at the very bottom, you can, well, you can't really see it, but so anyways, it comes with this little stand. This was free and that has every month on here. Okay, but the other super cool thing is, my grandmother asked for a calendar that has all the family's birthdays in it, like all the extended family, all the cousins, second cousins, everybody. And I noticed that Minted was doing a special whereupon if you put in 10 dates, so like an anniversary, a birthday, or what, you would get a free calendar when you ordered one calendar, which is perfect. So I just put in all our family's birth dates and a few anniversaries and made a calendar. I guess I could show you the front of it because it's just baby Sarah and my parents and my, like 1985. Oh yeah, what a good looking group. So it's a year in uh, our family, 2019. And I put a picture on all my cousins and all my family. Oh, this looks so good. The pages are like super thick. Oh, that's a good one. I love that one. And it hangs on the wall. It's got a little hangy clip here. Let's open this one. All right. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! This one is the O-Ball. My friend Blake first told me about these when she had her first son and I thought she was crazy. And then she sent me some and I understood. For some reason, babies love this ball. I think it's because it's little and they can get their hands in it and really hold it. So I got one for my new nephew and I hope he loves it as well. I will definitely link this one below because it is awesome. It's a great present for new parents. Little airplane confetti. This one's from a company called Sudo, Sudo Dudo. One of, Chris, one of Chris's favorite bands is called Wolfpack. And I will agree that they are pretty darn amazing. I'm definitely also gonna link them below. I would start with 1612 and um, Animal Spirits. And there's one other, I don't usually like music unless it was from the 90s and it was hip hop, but they're really good. So he wanted this hoodie, it's got a little V, Wolfpack. Check out the band. I think you will really like them. So check out their YouTube videos. I'll link those below too. I may not link it. I may not link any of this below because I literally have to leave in, oh my gosh, like 10 minutes. It is for my mom, from my sister. I got it at World Market. She got it at World Market. Technically, I think it's a serving platter. Um, I don't know. My, my mom is like hostess extraordinaire, so I don't know what she'll use this for exactly, but it will probably either have cheese on it or something that I will be eating in about four days. Oh. Byron Barton, boats and trains. If you have not, found the genius that is Byron Barton, and you have young kids, go online right now, link is below, and start getting Byron Barton books. Chris and I read these books so many times I have them all memorized. The boys never tired of them ever. They're very simple. I think the kids really like the art. I'm gonna read it really dramatically. On the track, the trains are running. I hope my nephew loves them. I can't imagine he wouldn't. Cow, this is heavy. I hope it has the book exchange book. Okay. I don't, this is, this is definitely from my sister to somebody. This is to my little sister. I love how, okay. Anyways, uh, this is the complete cooking for two cookbook from America's Test Kitchen. I don't cook, but I know that America's Test Kitchen has good stuff because my mom cooks and I have eaten her stuff before from there. Key steps to pan searing steaks. So like dry the steaks. It tells you the science of all why. I'm hoping I have a little bit of time to read this before I wrap it because I could probably use most of the tips in this book. Ah, I definitely know what this is. This is gonna be from me to my little sister. The littlest one. I mean, she's like 30. How old am I? Oh my gosh, she's probably like 30. Blammo! 
Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Let me tell you a little, let's, let me get real with you here for a minute. We got the boys a Nintendo Switch for their birthday this October. I wasn't super excited about having it in the house. I was really nervous that it would kind of take over our lives. It has taken over our lives, but in like the best way possible. I had forgotten how much I love playing Mario. I beat the game just this last Sunday night with a little help from Chris and the boys. And I just, I love Nintendo. They make such good products. Um, together as a family, we play, we play Mario Kart 8. We play, we play Mario Party, which is super fun. You can play with four people and you like get to row the oar, pump water. That doesn't look super great. Boys are completely insane about this game called Arms, which our neighbor has. And they literally stand up and they just punch and punch and punch until they're like sweating. It's awesome because they're standing up and they're punching and they're like, my side hurts. And I'm like, that's great. So two very enthusiastic thumbs up for the Nintendo Switch. If you're on the fence about it, write me. I'll walk you through it. I'm so happy we got one. So happy. It, it's just, e e even if you think you don't like video games, our neighbors, the same ones that have arms, um, part of the couple is not super big on video games. And even she loved Mario Party so much that they ended up going home and buying it. It's awesome. I'm telling you, if you're not a video game person, try it. You may become a convert. Convert? Is that the word? Where do I put this? Bigger ticket item. So I did a little research. This is a very affordable, very durable, because <laughs> let's be honest, it's gonna spend a lot of time crashing into the dirt, uh, drone. It's, uh, it's not overly great and it's not terrible because if it's too cheap, it's really hard to work, which we learned from experience last year. So you wanna hit that sweet spot in the middle. The other great thing about this is it does not run from your phone. A lot of drones, you have to use a cell phone to drive it and to navigate. My sister has an uber super big smancy, smancy? Fancy sm pantsy pants? Fancy pants. What does she have? Dro she has a fancy pants drone and she has to use her phone to put in the controller. I didn't want my phone having to be used by my children for anything. And so I made sure to look for one that has its own, comes with its own controller so they don't have to use my phone. That was a big, big, big selling point for me. So let's see yet the, the other book exchange book. Um, is this for me? Oh, <laughs> this is not for me. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. This is the Boss Man beard kit. It has jelly beard oil. It has beard conditioner. It has beard. We got the gold scent. After reading online, the gold scent is for people who like the outdoors, which I think is most people. So. If you like the outdoors, you're gold. Get it? Because you, oh my gosh, why are there still so many boxes? Oh, what is this? Aha, family slumber party in our room the other night. All the boys slept in there. This was after Mr. C's surgery, of which I haven't told you about yet, but I'll get to. Uh, Mr. A did not have a sleeping bag. So this is his new sleeping bag. It's the expedition sleeping bag. So my sister's my sister's presence came before, oh my God, what is this? My sister's presence came before the majority of my presence came, which is weird. It's like, hang. Ah. This is for my sister who has sent all these presents. She wanted the uh, vertical rabbit with foil cutter wine opener. She has a newborn, go figure. It easily, um, it easily takes the cork off of your wine. I think that's a pretty fair description of this product. Actually, this may be the one for my dad. Yeah, it is. I'm not even gonna open this. Uh, it's two 18 volt Black & Decker batteries for his leaf blower. I don't, it's what he wanted. Like he'll be so happy. All right. Every year, every year we do a Christmas book for our boys. That way I figure when they're 18 and leave the house or when they're 30, if they have kids, they will already have a starter pack of Christmas books to read to their kids, 18 books, in fact. When we started having kids, I didn't have any Christmas books for my kids, and so I went out and I started buying them, and I thought, wouldn't that be cool if the boys had 18 books when they had kids that they could just immediately start reading to them? So every year we give them a Christmas book, and I write on the inside, and I write what Christmas it is, and a little note to them, and this year's was Frosty the Snowman, because this is the first year that baby A watched the old school Frosty the Snowman with us, which is our absolute favorite. There's a part. Okay, I have to keep going or this is gonna get ridiculous. Okay, this 
This may be my favorite Christmas book of all time. It's called Mr. Willoughby's Christmas Tree. Oh my gosh. I'm st I'm t Kirby. All Star Allies. This is a PowerPort Speed 5 that my brother-in-law wants. It's like a quick charge with USB cables. Let's see that box. A few more. What time is it? Ah! He wants a um, remote controlled car, four wheel drive. I recommend this one. Again, I did a ton of research. Okay, I still have to wrap all these. Aha. I keep saying aha, like I didn't expect, like I didn't expect this to, I ordered them so long ago. They've been sitting in my office forever. Jungle waterfall. Little guy loves a bathtub. You can piece these together how you want in the bathtub. Dragon Masters. They are chapter books, well, probably appropriate for probably like second grade, first grade, depends on how uh, you're, again, you can see it online, but here's an example. Don't have time to explain much about that. Plates. If your kids are into Legos and you have multiple kids, base plates. They can put their thing on here and say like, well, there's, gr there's green and there's blue and there's gray. This comes in a six pack. So each kid will get two. So for example, Mr. A will be green, Mr. B will be blue, and they can set these out and say like, whatever's on this is mine. I'm building it, don't touch it, here it is. I have high hopes for these. Okay, say okay a lot. We're going to the last box. Oh, goodness gracious. This is my, oh, oh dear God, I'm so glad I opened this now. Letters. This is my mom's letter, uh, letter board. Very similar to the one we have in our kitchen. There went my plant. That's okay, it was dead. Oh, it's everywhere. Okay, well, we'll worry about that later. I gotta go get the kids. I hope you found this helpful. Sweet silver bells, oh, silver, sweet silver bells, oh, silver bells. Uh, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas unless you're watching this in March, and then happy St. Patrick's Day. I'll talk to you soon. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. I don't know if there'll be snow. But have a cup of cheer Have a holly jolly Christmas And when you walk down the street Say hello to friends you know And everyone you meet